Hello everyone, my name is Bertha and welcome back to another Zodiac Signs as Sims video. It has been such a long time since I did the last one in this series, so I was definitely in the mood to go back into Create a Sim and finally make another video in this series. I think it is so much fun. So yeah, today we are making the Zodiac Sign Virgo as a Sim and I'm briefly gonna give you a description of the zodiac sign virgo and then we'll just get into how i made the sim and other fun topics you know the drill so as always i get my information about the zodiac signs from the book the secret language of birthdays by gary goldschneider and jos elfers i have a link to the book in the description if you are interested in astrology i definitely recommend it it's a really fun and informative book but uh yeah let's just get into it Anyone born between the 24th of August and the 22nd of September is a Virgo. So right now we're actually, you know, when I'm making this video, we're in the middle of the Virgo season. Virgo's element is earth and their colors are silver, indigo and dark purple. You'll see that I tried to use these colors wherever I could, but silver was a bit difficult to work with since, you know, gray is not silver and we don't have much silver things in the game. I tried silver hair as you can see right now, but that just didn't look too good to me, so I changed up her hair color later. Anyways, Virgos want to look at life's problems in a systematic way. They have high morals and don't like all types of humor, which is why others often see them as serious people. And besides that, they're also very critical. They are quite secretive and very picky about what they want, what they don't want, and how they want things to go. They aren't dreamy, but like to analyze, solve and assess. They like to plan and focus on the future. And this all doesn't really mean that they don't like spontaneity and improvisation. It's just that the underlying structure are an essential part of their enjoyment. So generally Virgos are very good family members and employees, and they often contribute significantly to group activities. They also often take things literally, which means they expect people to always do what they promise. And this trait may dampen their humor a bit. They often expect people to take care of them without actually verbalizing their needs. People think that Virgos are humble and prudish, but many of them can let go of their conventional and moral values and openly share their feelings with others. If you are a Virgo, please let me know in the comments if you recognize yourself in this description or if you know someone who is a Virgo, do you recognize them in this description? This is of course very broad because astrology is more than just looking at your sun sign, but I'm still very interested if this is something that as a Virgo you can relate to. Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about the sim now for a while because we have almost kind of finished her everyday wear. I was thinking of what sim I was gonna make and then I realized that we don't have an Asian sim in this series yet so I thought that was definitely something I should do and I found it quite hard to actually represent the Virgo traits into the looks of a sim. I don't know exactly what I envisioned but I try to kind of make her look serious but gentle too. I imagine her to be kind of stern and very smart and as it says like she doesn't really get all the types of humor but she is still very kind and a good person you know. Uh, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but it was quite hard. You also see that I changed her hair into black with purple strands. As I said, I tried to do silver hair, but it just didn't look good on her in my opinion. So I changed it to this black and I think it looks better than the silver. So I think her overall aesthetic is, you can describe it as like black with purple without it being dark, if you get what I mean. It's not like a gothic or emo kind of look. Do people even still call it emo or is it now e-girl kind of stuff? I am so not up to date with the, the new terminology that teenagers use nowadays to describe styles, but um, I don't know. 
A little detail that I think I'm going to be adding now in the video is I'm going to give her a tattoo. To be exact, it's a mathematical tattoo. I thought that really suited the analytical, critical way of looking at life. And I don't know. It, I thought it just, it suited her. So I gave her a little mathematical tattoo. I think you can see it better with some other outfits later on. Right now there's this um, vest covering her arm. So you'll see it later, but I think it looks really nice on her. I actually wanted to give her more tattoos, but all the tattoos I have in my game didn't really suit the kind and gentle part of Virgo. So I decided against it. You know, every time I make these uh, Zodiac Signs as Sims videos, when I am making them, it all makes sense. And then when I have to explain in the voiceover why I gave a Sim a certain look based on a sign, it just, it's like, it made sense, but now it doesn't. It is so, like, different from person to person. How you look at astrology and interpret it, and especially when you're gonna put it into a look, it's like, as I'm saying it, things don't make as much sense as they did when I was making The Sim. But um, I hope you can understand my decisions. <laughs> you can also see her tattoo really well now. I didn't realize until later, but it is actually a in-game tattoo. It's from Discover University. So if you have that pack, you don't even have to download it. You can just... It's there. It's there for you when you download The Sim. Also, very different topic, I know, but I had my first dance class since, like, February, March? When did everything close down here? I don't even remember. It's been months and it was so weird, actually, to be back. But on the other hand, nothing has changed except for the fact that we try to keep our distance now more than normally but you know i woke up this morning and i look at my knees and my feet and they're all blue and my neck is blue don't ask me why my neck is blue but i was just thinking like ah good old dance class everything is back to normal again <laughs> i'm always blue after dance class it, i do modern dance so we kind of like jump and fall around and dance on the floor and everything so that's why everything is blue and hurts <laughs> the day after. Also, I pulled a muscle three weeks ago and it still hasn't healed completely. Why? Why does life want to do this to me? I was about to pick up doing just dance every day to get back in shape, you know? And then my neck was like, ha, no, we're not going to do that. Why would you do that? And um, yeah, it still hasn't healed properly and I'm I'm done with it. You know, like I can, I understand that things can hurt for a while and a week or week and a half, okay. But three weeks, like, come on, I I'm done now. I want to dance again. Luckily it's, it's good enough that I can dance, but not like fully, like I can't put my soul into my dancing because I just have to look out for my neck all the time and be careful but I hope next week is gonna be okay because I don't want to be hurting four weeks straight that that is just no thank you for listening to my rant <laughs> you know today is my mother's birthday so we are going out for dinner to a restaurant that we know it has very good food in the first place and secondly there's enough there's definitely enough space to keep our distance from other people so i am excited to finally kind of get out of the house again but i was thinking of doing my makeup because i don't often do my makeup and i was like okay it's it's a birthday party so i'm gonna dress up and i'm gonna do my makeup and i was like wow that's convenient because i can you know film for my videos and I have my makeup done and then I was like wait I don't do face cam for voiceovers so um that plan kind of flew out the window not that it matters at all but I was just I was a bit confused I guess I would like to know from you because I know that 
some people do do face cam with just simple voiceovers like this. What do you think? What do you prefer? Do you prefer to have a face cam when people do voiceovers or do you prefer that they don't? Because with a voiceover, it's not like you're going to see reactions. I, I think that way personally. So it's not as interesting as when people have face cams during let's plays and stuff and challenges. But um, if you guys prefer face cam, I can probably do face cam in the future with just voiceovers as well. So let me know in the comments if you prefer with or without face cam. One thing about this particular sim that I thought was kind of a bummer is that usually I kind of experiment with different hairstyles for different outfits, you know, like do a updo for their formal wear and when they swim have a hair that looks like it's wet or something or you know tied back but with this sim i couldn't really do that because i only had so many hairs that you know work with the purple strands in the front so she has the same hairstyle with most outfits i think i have a different one with the formal outfit i do have an updo there but for the rest it's basically the same hairstyle all the time which i mean it's not a bad thing it's just usually i i use different hairstyles so it was a bit different to have the same hairstyle with all outfits this time by the way i am slowly but surely getting into streaming on twitch so i will leave the link to my twitch in the description if you want to hang out feel free to drop by when i'm live the next time i'm going to be live is tomorrow so the 12th of september at 4 p.m uk time and i'm going to stream among us with some other streamers youtubers and non-internet people <laughs> is that a word it is now Anyway, we're gonna be streaming Among Us and I haven't played that game at all yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be super fun. It sounds like a super fun game. And I'm also planning on playing The Sims on stream and maybe some other games too, but probably The Sims for the first few times, I guess. So yeah, if you wanna hang out with me, I would be very happy if you just drop by, even if it's just for a little while, because it's still a bit scary to stream, you know, like when I do a voiceover or a let's play video, you can just edit out the things that didn't go as you planned. But when you're live, that is not an option. So me being kind of anxious, um, I find that difficult, but I'm getting there and your help would be very much appreciated. If you're interested, please give me a follow on Twitch and you'll be notified whenever I go live and we can have fun together. So yeah, uh, we're doing the last outfit already. So let me just quickly talk about the traits I gave her. These are not the ones. I gave her the ambitious trait to represent the working towards the future trait. I gave her the family oriented trait because they apparently are good family members. And I gave her the genius trait because of the analytical thinking and you know, she's probably smart. And for that same reason, I gave her the academic aspiration. So yeah, that's the sim. I gave her a another name at the end. I'm not gonna pronounce it because it is an Asian name and it's not gonna work. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Reminder to let me know in the comments if you recognize yourself or other people in the description of Virgo and whether you'd like me to do face cam on voiceover videos like this one as well. I'm going to be making a CC list for this sim. It might be tomorrow that I'm putting it up, but just to let you know. And we are going to be moving on to the screenshots. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked how I made this sim. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Go check out my Twitch if you're interested in seeing me live streaming The Sims and other games. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!